Recent TikToks posted by American Airlines passengers showed a woman literally duct taped to her seat. Report after she reportedly attacked flight attendants and also attempted to open the plane's front door. So let me set this story up for you. The incident took place last week on Tuesday on a flight from Texas to North Carolina. Passengers sitting nearby said that she began she began acting strange, a little erratically. She got worked up. Um, Elizabeth LeClaire, who was uh, sitting one row in front of the woman in question, said that she heard her say that she didn't want the plane to fly up anymore. She started getting more and more agitated and very loud. And the man sitting next to her, along with the flight attendants, kindly tried to console her and calm her, but nothing worked. Now, the woman who posted the original TikTok video, um, reported seeing uh, all the flight attendants running up and down the aisles frantically whispering to each other you know trying to control the situation now during what was very likely a panic attack the woman started biting spitting at and attacking the flight attendants uh, one tiktoker said she was saying i need to get off this plane she went up to the exits and started banging on the door saying you need to let me off this plane flight attendants ran and tackled the woman and then restrained her wrists and feet with duct tape and what appeared to be zip ties now a video of that was posted online um, and then later it was taken down but a different person reposted it. We want to show you what the woman in question looked like and how she was duct taped. So let's take a look at this video. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay, so basically my mom was the seat in front of her on this crazy plane ride. But this lady wasn't only trying to bang on the doors, she actually tried to open them and jump out. And yes, she's not suicidal or anything, but like you said, there is something wrong with her in the head. It, they don't know what it was. I have a little more context because my mom was in front of her. And... Um, Basically, so she was trying to jump out and trying to hurt other people to get, to be able to jump out, sorry. And um, so it took the entire staff team to tackle her, pin her down to a seat. They taped her entire body to the chair, put tape over her mouth, yet she was still screaming. They put zip ties onto her hands to zip her, zip die sit <laughs> sit tie her to the seat and after they did sedate her and put her onto a stretcher they ended up taking her to a mental hospital to get the help she needs now uh, that TikToker also said of the flight attendants who had uh, duct taped her uh, the woman in question of course they should have a better way of going about it I feel like it was handled poorly which to be honest with you, I think this story calls for another edition of TYT Supreme Court. And listen, this story is so controversial that I think that we need some help adjudicating it. So I have brought on our Chief Justice Jesus Godoy to help us adjudicate. Hey. Oh, wow. Welcome, Jesus. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome okay, I haven't seen the Chief Justice <laughs> in a while. Good to have hey. you back, sir. I feel it's one of those cases where you guys need some help. I think so, I think Indeed. so. I mean, there might be a tie. We might need someone to break that tie. And who better than our Chief Justice, Jesus Godoy? Yeah. Now, with that said, here's the question. Mm -hmm. Were the flight attendants correct in duct taping this woman's mouth shut after she became unruly on the flight? So, uh, Justice Kisperi, now on clarification, are we ruling on duct taping her body as well, or just her mouth? I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus specifically on wow. her mouth. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that is the better question, and I agree with you. And that's where I'm really torn. I'm very curious what the Chief Justice is gonna say. Uh, so, duct taping the body, I don't think is a close call. They have to restrain her in some way. Mm -hmm. that, that's not you. We're not gonna risk everyone on the plane to be polite. 
Right, it reminds me of the story that I've told on a couple of occasions where the South Korean airlines were crashing more often than other planes and they checked all the mechanics and it was fine, the engineering was fine. And it turns out the co-pilot was too polite to tell the pilots we're about to run into a mountain, right? So no, we can't have it, sorry. And we. this is not a Karen video. She's obviously has some psychological issues there right. and we feel bad for her, but you gotta tie her up. There's just no choice, nothing you can do about it. In terms of the mouth, I think I'm gonna vote no, because it feels really awkward and yucky. And <laughs> so, Good argument, so good argument, look, look, Justice Uger. Look, I don't know if I want to set the yucky precedent, okay? <laughs> uh, and I think this is how justices actually talk, uh, okay? Uh, and yes, it would bother everyone else when she keeps screaming the, for the next hour of the flight, but Endangering people's lives is worthy of duct tape. Significantly bothering them, I'm not sure is worthy of duct tape because of how awkward and, and problematic it is. All right, but, but I could be convinced, I'm not positive yet. I wanna kick it over to you guys. I, I, I tend to agree with you, uh, Justice Uger. Mm. I think that the duct tape on the mouth is needlessly cruel. Uh, I understand the need to restrain her. I've also learned through uh, researching this story that while a passenger may want to open the door to the plane, they literally can't do that as mm -hmm. the, the plane is in air. But it doesn't matter, uh, she was obviously harming um, other passengers and flight attendants by trying to bite them. So if they needed to duct tape her mouth to prevent her from biting them, maybe I can understand that. But they were already restrained her, like she's on the seat, she's restrained with zip ties and duct tape. I don't think they needed to uh, you know, duct tape her mouth. Some might argue, well, she's disturbing other passengers, but there are all sorts of um, audible disturbances on flights on a regular basis, including, and I'm not judging, children crying, right? So what are we oh. gonna do? Are we gonna duct tape children's mouths shut? I mean, some might be tempted. I would say no, don't do that, it's cruel. Chief Justice, before you weigh in, mm. uh, Justice Kasparian oh. has made a couple of points that have ironically uh, made me less sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I just wanna say, look, the duct taping the kids, uh, I might have agreed yeah, with I it mean. before, but I got kids now, so I'm gonna vote no on that. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> But the fact, I forgot that she was trying to bite and spit. She's not likely to be able to bite anyone if you've got her duct tape body, but she could still spit. Okay, so now I'm a little bit more on the fence. Now, if you guys are wondering, Jesus, of course, is our original director, the Steven Spielberg of online television, not a big deal, and hence Obviously. part of the court. So, uh, Chief It Justice, is a big deal. Let's just keep hyping it up as a big deal. Okay, all right. Maybe it is a big yeah. deal. Maybe that's what people I mean, are yeah, saying. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Um, but that's just. Different. I don't do this enough that the times I do it should be a big deal. Okay. Just saying. So, you are. Things have been said. Okay. So, Chief Justice Godoy, what do you think? You know what, I feel that at this point in our fine history, we feel we have more stuff disposed at the good old duct tape to restrain people. Like, like they must like experience this more often than they usually do at this point. And I feel the fact that they're still going to the duct tape and they haven't figured out some harnesses or some kind of you know stuff that is a little bit more humane, I mm -hmm. guess, like you know something. But you know the fact that they have to go to descent. I mean, to to um, duct tape is it, probably all they have. So you feel bad for them. So I, I get that. But the mouth is the craziest one, and I feel at that point it's it's a bit much. And you could just sit her in a corner where she's just spitting at the wall. I feel that. I don't think we need. To people to duct tape their mouth, like <laughs> it seems a little bit extreme. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's it feels like we're three and oh, but I'm not sure that like it feels like a unanimous decision, but I'm descending in parts. Mm, um, it's you like, are in favor of duct taping <laughs> passengers mouths no, shut. No, 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 I hate it, no, seriously, <laughs> I hate it. Uh, but I think uh, Jesus is right in that like, the question is where is she sitting? If somebody's sitting next to her and she's spitting on them, we can't have it, right? right? But trying to move her to a safe location, trying to take somebody, uh, the, the person sitting next to her out of that seat obviously, and try super hard not to duct tape her mouth. 
I have one potential solution here, but we do have a poll on this, Anna. We do have a poll. We would like you guys to weigh in on it. Um, you know, uh, so go to tyt.com/polls if you'd like to participate. And the question is, was it right for the flight attendants to duct tape an unruly passenger's mouth shut? Yes or no? Super straightforward. Let us know what you think. Yeah, I'm curious what you guys uh, rule. Uh, although you will not be able to overrule us. Let's be honest about it. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, one thing popped into my head, and it's easy to judge in hindsight because they were probably super scared, and it was a really, you know, uh, dangerous situation and, and certainly a frightening situation. But maybe one thing they could have done is put a mask on her. Right, because she's since she's restrained yeah. by the body duct tape. Mm -hmm. If you put a normal mask that we all wear because of COVID on her mouth, it wouldn't. It would have muffled the the screaming. You might still have heard it, but at least it would have prevented the spitting. Yeah, because here's the thing: when her mouth is duct taped shut, what if she needs? She actually needs to communicate something, right? Oh, right. What if she can't breathe or something? That's a good point. Great right. point. But you feel that somebody must have like shown that like, why don't we just put this on? And they're like, no, we got the duct tape out already. Let's go to the head. Yeah. It's and you're like, like you guys have to, I'm sure there's some, an extra mask on that plane somewhere. But they yeah. were too hyped up. And like you're saying, they're probably panicked and scared. And I'm sure whoever did decide to go to the duct tape first must feel horrible, I hope. But um, but yeah, next time let's let's bring out other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and look, it's it's good to do this so that next time, hopefully, the airlines will be more prepared, and hopefully, they'll not duct tape people's mouths. But overall, I don't want people to get them wrong. I mean, my ruling outside of the, you know, duct tape or not, is when it comes to the actual individuals, I pardon everyone. Everyone's not guilty because the flight attendants who did the duct tape, etc., they're in a panicked situation, and it's easy for us to judge them in hindsight, right? I'm not trying to blame them for it. I'm just trying to figure out what the right thing to do is, right? And for the person who had the panic attack, she's not, I don't think she's trying to be mean or unreasonable or entitled. She just lost it. Yeah. And it is what it is, and you try to get her some help. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I agree. It's like if you get caught in the plane with a crying baby, like, you get it, caught in the plane with the guy, the person having a meltdown. You've got to be able to power through the six hour flight or whatever it is. Yeah, in that case, it was a two hour flight and she started flipping out in the in right after the first hour. So you had an hour left to go. But the Chief Justice yeah. wins the day again, and, and that's why he's the Chief Justice. Because it's true, sometimes you draw the short straw. Sometimes you got me sitting next to you and are like, oh, Jesus Christ, with this guy's shoulders and triceps. I mean, I they've mean, taken up the whole space. All over the place. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I mean, you got. Do you, do you want your mouth to be duct taped? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a different story. Uh, okay. Anyways, <laughs> okay. <laughs> is the crying baby. And sometimes you get the person who flipped out on the flight. Okay. Try not to duct tape her mouth. Now we're unanimous. All right. All right. Thank you, Chief Justice. Thank you. Adios. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.